back at Volunteer Audio. And if you watched the last video, you've seen the install of the new Hertz six and a half speakers on my street light. Well, you guys put in the comments, you put in the comment section below, said that, hey, Tall, you need to do the six by nines in the saddleback lids. And Jay, he was telling me I need, I need to do the six by nines in the saddleback lids. So today I'm back listening to you guys doing the six by nines in the saddleback lids. All right, so Jay, what do we got planned for today? All right, so we've got a set of 2014 and newer CBO style bag lids. Uh, then we're gonna put a set of Hertz SX690 Neo 6x9s in. Okay. Uh, we're then going to tune the amplifier for those and see how much extra added bass we get. Uh, our front speakers will play down to about 100 Hertz. By adding the 6x9s, they'll play to about 65 Hertz. So we should have a significant improvement in our mid bass and almost down to that subwoofer bass level. So it should sound a lot better. Uh, I think overall, Tall's going to be very pleased. Okay, and just to tell you guys, my biggest concern or why I didn't want to put 6 by 9s in the bike is I did not want to cut my factory Harley Davidson lids. But we're not worried about that because Jay has a solution. Well, we've got these beautiful, vivid gloss black CBO style lids that we're going to replace. Right. Uh, and unlike the factory CBO lid, which only holds a 5 by 7 these are specifically designed for a 6 by 9 so we're going to get that larger driver. Yeah. It's going to be much better. Yeah, much better. So guys, I get to keep my factory lids. Well, they're going somewhere in the closet at the house, but so we have some new ones to replace it. And it's going to be a good install. So enough talking for me. Let me get out of the way and let Jay get started on the bike. All right, All right let's get this front fairing removed. All right, so we've got our fairing off. And last time, if you watched the video, you seen I, I spoke about a harness in the fairing that we have that runs to our rear speakers. So all of our 14 and newer Harleys already have a rear speaker harness up here. This didn't do anything factory. So we flashed the radio that added fader on our radio to show that we have rear speakers and also made this active. When we add our Hertz HMP 40 amp, we used the T harness so we didn't have to cut anything and it actually tied to this same connector. So now we're gonna plug into this connector. We've got this harness that plugs right into it. We're gonna route that down up the backbone of the bike under the seat, reassemble, and then this will be a great place to hook our T-harness up for our bags and our quick disconnects. All right, so we've got our wire ran down the backbone and it's zip tied in here. We're gonna reinstall our cover, and then we're gonna do our gas tank and get back to work on these lids. All right, so we have our new CBO style lid. These are actually made by Kicker. We love Kicker. Uh, they make a great product, but in this case, we're gonna put some Hertz 6 by 9s in it. Uh, it's gonna use all of our stock factory hardware to look like the original CBO uh, grill, which I really like. It's gonna look like you spent a lot more money on your bike, uh, and at the same time, have a lot better speaker than if you would've bought the CBO with the boom audio. We're going to transfer this factory hardware over into it. All right, so for the people that have already had Hertz speakers before, this looks very similar to our Millie Pro 6x9, but it's completely waterproof, just as strong, actually more powerful as far as wattage, 260 watt 6x9, uh, plays down to 65 Hertz. All right, so we're going to disassemble our lid off of our side bag. We're gonna then take out, you're fixing to see me take out this original mechanism. We'll transfer it over to our new kicker lids. So let's start taking it apart. Torx screw that's holding our latch on the side. We're going to take the factory gasket just loose from this metal metal lid bracket. We've got a new gasket with our new kicker lids. Put that out of the way. That easy. So we've got our old lid. We're going to transfer this into our new one. All right. So this. This latch mechanism is gonna go in just like we removed it out of the stock one. 
Kicker does a really good job of making this fit just like it does from the factory. So we're underneath our outer perimeter screws. Let's make sure we line up here at the bracket. We're in place. Let's start putting some screws back in. You're just going to put three in. The fourth one's going to hold the bracket that goes on the back of the speaker. So that's that. Let's put our handle back on and fish our speaker through. All right. So as you see, our handle still works that mechanism just like factory. All right, so a little information about the speaker. This will play, like we said earlier, from 65 hertz, but it'll play all the way up to 20 kilohertz, which is as much as, as high as a human ear can hear. Uh, it's 260 watts peak, 130 watts RMS. Uh, it has an inch, of, a 1.4 inch, main tweeter and a one inch super tweeter with a six by nine woofer. Uh, we're gonna offer this on our website as a kit, both with the kicker lids and also with uh, some lids from a company called Metro. So we'll have two different options for you, two different price points. Okay, let's take this hertz speaker. We're gonna fish it through the back side of the lid. We're gonna keep our terminals toward the center of the lid for our wiring later. Already looks good. We're going to use the supplied hardware that came from Kicker to mount the speaker. We're not going to go all the way tight with them until we get our back holes lined up. Which I can see they look like they're pretty good. Flip it over. Now from the back side, we have a supplied metal bracket that comes from Kicker that's going to add extra support to the rear of the speaker. It's also going to go in that last screw hole that we didn't put in when we put our mechanism in. All right, so Kicker gives you these small threaded inserts that go on the outside of the speaker. That's what's actually gonna secure this bolt and the speaker to the lid. Gonna hand tighten that. Then move on to our other one. There you have it. Let's install our grill and get it mounted back on our on our bag. So our grill's just gonna clip in on these two places and then there's uh, three screw holes on the bottom. You've got your new gaskets on it, maybe a little tighter closing the first couple times. They'll, uh, they'll shrink down and it'll get a lot easier. But man, that is a good looking lid. Looks like we just went out and bought a new CVO. All right guys, so we've got everything installed. It's time to set the gains on the amp. I want to explain to you what we're, what we're in the middle of doing. Uh, I've got a USB drive plugged into the radio and I'm playing a negative five dB, uh, one kilohertz note. Um, got an SMD distortion detector connected to my rear channel. As you notice right here, it's showing that it's on. It's showing it's seen a one kilohertz note. I've got our volume turned up to where we've got four empty uh, dots on the radio. We know we have a clean signal out of our radio all the way up to that point. So now I'm gonna adjust the amp up till we see distortion. And then we're gonna back it down. So if you'll watch the meter, as I turn it, you'll see that red distortion light comes on. I can back it down just till it cuts off. We wanna get it right there. Now we're getting the maximum power out of this amplifier, a good clean signal so we don't blow our speakers. It doesn't matter what brand products you bought in the past or that you buy now. If somebody doesn't adjust your amp gain correctly and you don't protect them from distortion, you will blow your amp or your speakers. This way talking right all the way to Daytona, wide open on the volume or at least the four dots left, we don't have to worry about him having an amp overheat or a speaker go out. All right, so we've got this done. Let's button it up. Uh, I'm gonna put the, inter the fairing back together and we're gonna listen to it. All right, Tom, we got you put back together. All right, man. Let's get your reaction now. I was, he's not heard it at all yet. Yeah. We have not played it any without recording, so this is gonna be his actual live reaction. All right. Okay, guys, I'm excited about it. First of all, I have to say this. 
It looks fantastic. The grill, everything about it looks great. These lids look like a CBO lid. Fantastic. Looks, looks awesome. So let's, let me hear it. I'm excited to hear it. The six and a half in the front sounded great, but this is gonna add a little bit more bass. Now this is still copyright free music, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah guys, it's copyright free music. Yeah, it's not good, we know that. We, we just wanna let you hear the sound quality of the new system that he just installed on the bike. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day.